All right, let's get started. So this is gonna be a video on uh, using Onshape. So I'll go over the basics of collaboration and uh, all the different features in this video. All right, so Onshape is the Google Docs of CAD. And that's because it's super collaborative as in you can have multiple people on a single doc working at the same time. And uh, for those of you who don't know what CAD is, CAD is a computer aided design. Uh, so it's a 3D modeling uh, your different designs online. It's a tool that you're going to use. And so Onshape is free for all students and all FRC members. Um, it gets an update every three weeks, uh, so there's new features uh, almost uh, every month. And then hardware, uh, it can run on almost any type of device. So if you have school computer like, or if you have like Chromebooks, uh, the phone version is like, it's gimmicky. It, it works okay, but it'll work on any other. It has support for any other device, including Chromebooks, which are usually browser only. Uh, yeah. So what Onshape is it? There's no built-in CAM software in Onshape. There is no uh, finite element analysis, so no stress analysis software that's built in. But you can get plugins for that. Um, there's no rendering package built into it either. So you're going to have to render on a separate um, a separate, a separate application, and there is no offline support for Onshape. So you're gonna have to have a solid internet connection in order to use Onshape. All right. So in this video, we'll uh, cover parts and part studios. Uh, we'll go over assemblies. We'll go over drawings. Uh, we'll go over the sharing and collaboration aspects. Uh, we'll, I'll go over 2976's workflow for uh, Onshape. Uh, and then a couple advanced things. And then we'll end it by talking about branching and merging. Alright, uh, you can scan this QR code right here to join in on a live demo of part studios and assemblies so I'll give you guys a second to just pause the video and scan this all right so part studios and on shape uh, a part studio is where you would well make your parts um, what's special about on shape that a lot of other softwares don't have is that you can make all your parts in one studio so whereas with softwares like SOLIDWORKS and Inventor where you have to have a bunch of different files of parts um, you can make them all in one uh, you, s you see right here there's like a, 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 a menu with like a bunch of parts and that's that's generally not a great way to do it it's best to have all your parts in one part studio uh, and then the Part Studio has a lot of tools and features that allow you to do this. Um, yeah, I guess that's it for that. All right, assemblies. So assemblies are less likely to break uh, in Onshape than they are in other softwares. When you make updates to parts, uh, version control ensures that everyone in your uh, team has access to the latest version uh, and Onshape automatically makes versions whenever you insert the document into uh, another document. So you see here uh, there's the file here's a separate CAD uh, documents file manager so you'll see if you make one change at the top, then uh, it'll create an error going down. Whereas Onshape, it will 
uh, be pretty flexible about it and flexible about the changes that you make. Uh, yeah. So drawings. So the drawings in Onshape are pretty similar to drawings in other CAD platforms where you just uh, place your part into it uh, and then you can insert uh, dimensions but what's different from other CAD platforms is that you can save your own templates for uh, drawings uh, in Onshape so then you can go back to um, those the drawings for different parts and keep replicating them all right, and now we'll be going over the uh, collaboration aspect of Onshape. So here is the QR code for a live demo for that. I'll I'll just pause. Uh, I'll give you some time to pause and scan this. All right. So 2976's workflow for Onshape is uh, we create the parts and create the assemblies uh, in Onshape. Then uh, we create drawings in Onshape as well. Uh, we'll export the step files of the individual parts into Fusion 360 uh, where we will create the cams for them and then we will run those cams uh, on our CNC router. Pretty straightforward. So some likes and dislikes of Onshape is that it is very collaboration friendly. Uh, as I said before, it's like Google Docs, whereas you can have multiple people on one document working at one time and it will update automatically for everyone. Uh, Multi-part studios, so uh, like I said before, with the part studio, you can have more than one part in a single part studio, which makes your uh, file organization a lot better. Uh, you have uh, one connection assembly, so uh, your assemblies are going to update automatically uh, when you change update the parts you won't get errors uh, you're gonna and then you have uh, lots of different hardware capabilities you can open up a browser on any application you don't have to download anything you just uh, uh, things that are the same between other CAD applications and Onshape are that the drawings are pretty similar between all applications um, the basic features like sketching and all those are the same and it has resources just like any other CAD application. Um, the different views that they offer are not the best so like they only offer isometric, diametric and trimetric I think and I don't, I don't really like those. I feel like they should offer more selected views but other than that is pretty great and for sharing and collaboration um, whereas with like a normal CAD application where you'd have a different a different uh, file for every single part um, you can have uh, all of the parts in one part studio and then have that that same assembly in the same doc uh, which makes uh, organizing your files a lot easier in Onshape. Uh, you have teams in Onshape uh, which allows you to share your documents with uh, with a large group of people at once so if you have a lot of people in one team uh, you just share your document with that team and then it'll be shared with everyone cross-system compatibility like I said before um, because it's available on so many different devices it makes collaboration and sharing a lot easier and with this it allows you to get uh, 
drawings and dimensions off of models without a designer or a drawing needed to be around. So with the normal normal CAD software, you'd have to uh, ask the de designer to open up his computer, open up the model there and check, or you'd have to get a drawing and check the dimensions there. Whereas with, with Onshape, uh, you can get the dimension straight off the model by just opening a browser. And so some advanced features. So Onshape automatically generates a bill of materials for you, uh, which you can edit in uh, Part Studios and Assemblies. And so that makes it a lot easier to generate a parts list. Um, you can make your assemblies and parts studios configurable. Configurable. So that means that if you have uh, the same type of part, but you like say you want it to be different lengths, you can make it a configuration, uh, and it will uh, um, have two different versions of that part uh, in the same part studio, but it'll have like a configuration configurable variable that will change with the different configurations and then you have feature scripts so these are tools that have been made by other people uh, and these are very useful when you're catting uh, because they allow you to um, they save a lot of time for processes that uh, people have made uh, into uh, repeatable processes and so you can see here this type of pattern you can create with the XRivit pattern uh, feature script and uh, there is a specific feature script document called uh, Julia's feature script which is pretty great for FRC so uh, yeah I would check that out and uh, branching and merging so uh, w one of the features that Onshape has is that they allow you to create different branches of the same document. So like say you wanted to test, test something out, but like you didn't want to, if, if it didn't work, you didn't want to mess up the original document. You could create a branch uh, and do your tests in that branch. And if they worked, uh, you could merge that branch with the main, and then that would become your main document. Uh, otherwise, the you could just cut off the branch right there. And with uh, version control, even if they someone made a mistake, an error, and uh, created something that crashed the doc, um, you can easily go back to a previous version and uh, open the doc from there. And so Onshape also has the Learning Center, uh, which is a really great resource for learning how to CAD. Um, so uh, I myself will try to do uh, a couple of like CAD practice, but these are really the best resources when it comes to um, when it comes to uh, learning how to use the Onshape software, the built-in learning center, uh, and when it comes to um, learning all the different nuances of Onshape. So I would check out the Onshape learning center uh, if you want to get started with Onshape. And I think that will be it. Uh, please uh, send your questions in the comments uh, or DM me on Discord and that'll be it for this slideshow.